Now that the markers have been standing for a while and the ink has seeped to the nib, they are ready for use. I'm following the fish. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, let's use the yellow. We're out of yellow. Oh. We have this Crayola marker maker so we can make some more yellow marker. Yeah. Okay, let's see what is inside. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. The box contains the marker maker, tweezers, the three primary colors, a bag which holds all the barrels, the cores, the nibs and the caps this color palette labels and instructions on how to use the marker maker what color do you want to start making first i like to make red okay let's open up the machine yeah, and lay it down flat so you have space here where you can put the beakers to put the color in and this is to hold the markers as they dry you fit this handle onto the maker so that we could press to seal our markers let's start with the red okay you add the color into the well until the 15 mark use your tweezers to pick up a core and put it into the well of color Ooh. See that Krishna, how it's going in and the color is rising? Do you remember capillary action? Yeah. Yes, that is from capillary action. It is a process by which a liquid usually raises up through a narrow space or a porous substance against gravity. That's why the color is rising from the well into the core and slowly seeping up. Let's begin to assemble our marker. Here's a barrel. We're going to fit the nib into the barrel and then we place the nib facing down into the marker maker. Use your tweezer to pull out our core gently and place it into the barrel. Close the cap. Okay. Press the handle all the way down until you hear a click. So press it. There. Now that you have heard the click, it is in place. So let's pull up the marker. You see how the how the color is rising through the nib. Look at that. Yes. Now we use the cap to close our marker and then leave it for a little while so that the color can seep down into the nib now let's go ahead and make our second marker here's our color palette that shows you how to combine the primary colors to make different colors which one would you want to make next orange this one okay so that one is a combination of yellow and red so well, let's mix the two colors to make orange Now that the markers have been standing for a while and the ink has seeped to the nib, they are ready for use. So let's test them out and use these stickers to identify the colors. Oh, that is an orange. Okay, oh, yeah. let's write an orange. There you go. Okay, let's 
stick it on the marker. Now we have made our own markers. Let's use them to finish our coloring project. Yes. Krishna, did you have fun using this Crayola marker maker to make your own markers? Yes. Did you like it? Yes.